I want you to understand something. The devil has one goal with all of you. One goal, to keep you average. Dude, I'm gonna tell you about me. I knew, I knew that I had enough pain and pain teaches. I knew that I had enough pain that I didn't wanna live this way no more. And so I said, F it, I'm changing. And you know what? I did. Guys, can I tell you a secret how to get further ahead and take better care of your families than anybody else. You ready? Whoever's on this call this morning, whoever's on this call, I just want you to write this down. There's two groups of people, okay? And that's what we're gonna talk about on this call today. I'm wearing a shirt. You know what the shirt says? Bloodline breaker, okay? I don't know about you guys. Are you doing it for money? Are you doing it for yourself? Why do you wake up in the morning? I know some of you, You've got a bigger why than some other people. That's why you're kicking ass and some people aren't. So I'm talking about these two groups of people, right? And at the top, I would probably write bloodline breaker, okay? I don't know what group you're in, but here's what I'm gonna tell you. So group number one, and we're just gonna start ripping into training because training doesn't have to be long. It just needs to be good. It needs to be 30 minutes. By the way, training is self-development, okay? It's the only way to grow. It's like anything, it's a skill. Your body is capable of doing anything. Human beings are walking miracles. I want you to ask yourself, am I a walking miracle for the human race? Am I? I mean, like, listen to me. Have I transformed my body in the last three, six, three months, 12 months, six months? Physically, are people walking up to me and being like, oh my God, dude, I can't believe you're doing this. Or, oh my gosh, male or female? Like, you look amazing. I've seen you change right in front of my eyes. Are you a walking miracle? What about your attitude? There's, there's, there's two groups of people, and I'm after the bloodline breakers. What does that mean? It is not about getting rich. It is about getting a rich life and getting rich. Let's make sure that we make sure that there's two things that we're chasing. It's the art of achievement and the art of fulfillment. You got to chase both. Art of achievement. What does that mean? That means, of course, I want to have Ferraris and Lamborghinis and big jacked up trucks and a boat on the lake and beach houses and vacations. And I want to be able to not balance my checkbook. I want to live in a $20 million house. I don't want a mortgage payment. I want all that stuff. I want to be able to give my family whatever I want, whenever I want. I want to hang out with whoever I want, however I want. It's my life. It's called living a life by design. And I'm going to tell every single one of you, you're in charge of your life. And if your life isn't going the way that you want, it's because you're not choosing to be a walking, freaking miracle, okay? And by the way, if you guys look at a lot of the shirts that I, I wear, they say sayings on them. You might have seen me with one lately. It says, comeback kid, the comeback kid. You know what that means? Count me out. I've messed up more times than anybody in the world. I don't care how many times you've messed up. I'm willing to bet I did worse things and I messed up even more than you. And you know what? It's a testimony. Ha. Dude, listen, if you're on this call right now, isn't it cool? So there's these two groups of people, okay? And one group is going to come back from everything they've ever screwed up on, and they're going to be a walking miracle. By the way, those people are criticized every day. Write this down. Laugh. Laughter, laughing, making fun of me, making fun, people making fun of you. I've been laughed at every freaking day. If you're doing something right now that is outside of the ordinary, so here's what I want you to write down. Conforming to society, right? Literally conforming, being civilized, coloring inside the lines, average. Write down average. Just write it on your hand. The word average makes me want to throw up. The God, the God. My God is Jesus. The God of this generation is comfort. The God of this generation is comfort. And if you want comfort, you know what I'll tell you? You're never going to inspire anybody. I'm going to ask a couple questions. Just to you guys, we're going to talk about these two groups today. Are people walking up to you every day just asking and saying, I want to be just like you? Are people walking up to you every day saying, I want to look like you. Are people walking up to you and go, I want to live like you. Are people walking up to you and go, you changed my life. Andy, watching you live the way you live, you've changed my freaking life. Are they saying that to you? I'm going to tell you this, they should be. That's the kind of life you should be living right now. 
Everything you should do should be at a standard that no one's been able to handle before or hang with before. And you should be able to do it for longer, more consistently than them. And guess what? Any of you right now that are on the call, if you're stuck, you know why? It's because you're choosing to be stuck. It is a choice. You are not fighting anymore. And you're being, you're being what they want you to be. Average. Super important, guys, if you're watching this video right now and you're like, Andy, I'm not built like that. Bullshit. Yes, you are. Okay, you got to train. That's the way it works. Train or complain. It's your choice. Okay, every day I train the greatest in the world. You know what I mean? Are you ready to kick some ass and build your legacy and make history? If you are, in the description box below on this YouTube video, there's going to be a link. You click on it, enter your phone number, email, full name, and I will personally reach out to you in the next 24 hours. If you're serious about kicking some ass, going to the new level, recreating, next version of yourself, I'm your guy. Let's kill it. You know what I learned? I learned that the devil, right? He don't have to come take you out and ruin your life. You know what he's got to do? Make you fucking average. Listen, let's just, let's just get this clear. If I can just make you not different than anyone else, if I can make you the same as everyone else, which means you don't help anybody, you don't inspire anybody, you're not a walking billboard, you're not an example of human excellence. If I can just make you average, I take you out. Number one, you're not gonna change your bloodline. Number two, you're not gonna help anybody. Number three, here's the deal. You guys think you're gonna win, have a rich life? Do you guys understand what a rich life is? Everybody write down the word heart. It's called my heart is fulfilled. Dude, listen to me, you can make money and you can go buy all the financial shit you want, but if you wanna have fulfillment in your life, you're gonna have to help people. And you may say, oh, I'm in sales, I help people. Yeah, I mean more than that, buddy. I mean more than that. I mean when I walk into my community, I mean when I walk into my company, I mean when I'm in my family, I walk in the room. Hey, are you, are you the person when it's Christmas, there's 100 people on Christmas Eve in the room, everybody walks in, hey aunt, hey uncle, hey this, hey that, and you walk in, they're like, Andy's here, woo! Andy, tell us, how's life going right now? What's going on? Tell us about your new adventures. I, I see you everywhere. I see all the things you're doing. Oh my God, you've changed so much. I just, how do you keep your energy so high? Ask yourself that question. Or people asking me, how do I keep my energy so high? How do, how do I always stay on point? How do I stay so alive? How do I keep my edge every day? How do I stay in great shape? How do I keep my marriage on fire? Dude, I have people that walk up to me every day. This ain't about me. This is about me telling you I decided, I decided to make a damn decision. Two groups of people, okay? They all said, you ain't gonna be nothing. I remember when I was younger, I was talking to one of my, uh, my family members. I'm, I'm, I'm 17 years old. And they go, and I, was, I wanted to get into sales. And they, got, and I said, and they said, what do you wanna do when you, when you graduate? And I said, I want to get into sales. And you know what they laughed at? And they said, I bet you're going to end up being a car salesman. And I was. A very, very good one that helped a lot of people. And I made a shit ton of money doing it. And I didn't have any skill except I loved to learn and I wanted to change. You know what they told me? They told me, my family member, that people like me couldn't become a millionaire. People like me couldn't build a badass life. People like me. I'm going to tell you this. Some of you right now, where you're currently at, you're giving a lot of people job security because you're not changing. You know what I do? I go out and I shake shit. I shake it. I figure out what anybody can do and I know that I can do it better as long as I train, as long as I focus, as long as I make a decision, as long as I recreate, as long as I reprogram. Write that down. Reprogram yourself. Your freaking computer system, every one of you, reprogram. How do you want to think? How do you want to behave? What do you want to act like? By the way, when you're doing this, you know how I know if you're really doing it or not? By the amount of people that are laughing at you. Do you guys see this nose strip right here? You guys see that? You guys see this hostage tape, nose tape? You see this? You see this? This little, this little piece of tape right here. Let's everybody listen to me. People say, what is that thing on your nose? You're an idiot. Well, number one, when you put it on in about three seconds, it helps me breathe really good. People say, you look like an idiot. I took this company, when I got involved with them, I'm an owner in this company. I took this company from a $14 million company to $100 million in six months. Laugh, laugh. 
laugh, 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 laugh. Now they're not laughing. It's going to be a billion dollar business. Laugh, 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 laugh it up, chop it up, laugh. You're not changing anyone's life. You're not doing anything for anybody. You're stuck, bro. You're man or woman on this call, I'm telling you guys, if you follow me, if you look up to me in any way, shape, or form, you'll understand that laughter motivates me. It is food. I love it. The more laughter you get, it means the harder you're going. You must understand this. If you're going to change other people's lives, you're going to have to choose what group are you going to be in. Group A. The one that when you decide to raise your hand and you want to go to a bigger life and you want to do more things, that literally they look at you and they say, yeah, you're not going to do that. Oh, you're trying to be like that person or that person or that person. We know who you are. You're not like them. You know what I'll tell you, everybody right now? People, if they say they know who you are, they know who you were. You get it? You get it? Guys, they know who you were. I almost went to jail. I was running with the wrong people. I lied a lot. Yeah, I didn't like that guy either. Guys, think about it right now. If you're sitting here and you're like, I don't like me. Good, good. Now what are we gonna do about it? Are we gonna stay the same, the person you don't like? Or can you be the comeback kid? Can you be the person that says, hey, you know what? Nah, nah, you know what? I'm gonna do some big shit. And by the way, it's gonna be the most exciting, most enjoyable, most awesome thing you've ever done in your entire life. And I'm gonna tell you why, because I know that. I just wanna tell every single one of you, all of you, you gotta choose what group of people you're gonna be in, all right? Are you ready? Group one is you accept who the world says you are. Are you gonna be that group? Is that who you're gonna be? See, because everybody could have told me that they knew who the old me was, and they probably did. But see, I killed that guy. That guy's dead, okay? Or number two, are you going to be the group that doesn't accept? Yeah, you know what, you're not great. I'm not willing to accept that. Sorry, I'm not gonna accept it. You know what I know? I know that life's like the one that I have right now are for people who are the cream of the crop. And I was, I was once not cream of the crop. I was once the, the shittiest, the lowest, the person that didn't deserve any of this. But you know what? I made a freaking decision. And I'm gonna tell you guys, I would like for some of you on this call to make a decision today. Okay, so number one, okay, when you change, it's good for you and your life because you only get one. It's short and you got a lot to do. You better wake your ass up. But number two, when you change, you are morally doing a good thing for other people. I know this. There, every one of you here, there is at least one person that's watching you somewhere that looks up to you, and when you change, they change. Do you understand every time you level up, you're getting someone else, right? The, 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 you're getting them the courage for them to level up themselves. Do you understand that? Do you, guys, could you imagine... Listen, men and women on this call, could you imagine if you just listened to me? Okay, I'm gonna give you a couple things to think about. Number one, you gotta become more attractive. I want you to write it down. Okay, what, what does that mean? Exactly what it sounds like. Become more attractive. Number one, from the inside, change your intentions. Care about people more. Hey, notice I said attractive from the internal part to start. Hey. Clear your heart out, no darkness. Don't be a piece of shit. Clear your heart out, no darkness in your heart. By the way, I operate 70% out of the dark. I had a lot of people bet against me and I use that shit as fuel to rip asses daily and kick ass. So, can you be in the light, be a Christian, be a good person and operate in the light and still operate internally in darkness? Absolutely. Listen, I'm gonna tell you something, all right? I'm a psycho competitor. I am absolutely sick in the head. I love my wife. She deserves the best husband on planet Earth. I love my children. They I have three beautiful kids. They deserve the best father. father. I've got 100 people that work here with me. And guess what? They deserve the best leader on planet Earth. I got to look in the mirror every day. I need to like me. I got to like me. Do you look in the mirror and you're like, dude, I'm freaking proud of me. I'm so proud of me. I've changed. I overcame adversity, obstacles. 
you know, strongholds, vices. I broke that shit. And guess what? The devil wants you to break. You know what he wants you to do? Stay average. I want to be close to God. I don't want to be like everybody else, though. Listen to me. Write it down. I don't want to be like everyone else. People say, why are you yelling? Because I'm alive and I'm living. And one day you're going to be buried in a freaking ground. And you're not going to be able to be excited about anything because you're gone. Dude, if you were to die today, would the world cry? Like, oh my God, they say this person changed millions of lives. Dude, I came into the world crying, everybody was rejoicing. When I leave, I'm going to be rejoicing and everybody's going to be crying. You know why? Because I'm changing freaking lives. My life's going to count. That's it. And by the way, listen to me. You don't have to want what anyone else wants. Newsflash, F everyone else. You need to, to decide what do you want. You know what I learned? Let me give you guys a little bit of a secret. I made a, lot of, I made a lot of money when I was younger. And I mean, when I say a lot, I mean, I made 500,000, million, 2 million, 2.5 million. You know what I did? I lost it all. I lost it all. You know why? I wasn't the person I needed to be. I'm going to be honest with you. Everybody write this down. Better than most is poison. Because some of you right now, you're like, well, I'm better than most, Andy. Poison. 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 My marriage is better than most. Imagine that. My wife's like, babe, we got new levels we can take our marriage to. And I'm like, babe, we're better than most. Okay. So do you want to be the best or do you want to be better than most? Write that down. What do you want? Not what does everybody want for you. Remember, group one is what does everyone else want for you? You know what I know? Some of you right now, everybody's put boundaries on you. They put boundaries on you. They put boxes on you. They put you in a little box, and when you decide to go outside of the parameters of that box, they are going to come at you with all-out war. Good. Good. It's about fucking time people got pissed off because you started making your life count. You know what I know? If you're starting to irritate people, you're doing shit right. So I'm going to ask some of you guys some questions. What do you need to say no to today? What are some things that you need to stop doing? What are some people that you need to disconnect from? What are some relationships that you need to say goodbye to now? What are they? There's some things. Listen, when you make a decision to change, you have to understand there has to be execution and action behind it. What do we got to do? We got to start saying no to some things now, today, this very moment. You're out of my life forever. Bye. This thing, I'm no longer doing that thing anymore. I'm no longer going to that place ever again. What are those things? Hey, what are some things you're going to start saying yes to? You know, like honestly, guys, hey guys, you want to you know a little hack? And I know that none of this will make sense unless you, fall, unless you run my play. L listen, my advice is useless if you're going to continue to run your play with my advice. My advice is only good if you'll run my play with my advice. What's my play? Are you ready? Super important, guys, if you're watching this video right now and you're like, Andy, I'm not built like that. Bullshit. Yes, you are. Okay, you gotta train. That's the way it works. Train or complain, it's your choice. Okay, every day I train the greatest in the world. You know what I mean? Are you ready to kick some ass and build your legacy and make history? If you are, in the description box below on this YouTube video, there's gonna be a link. You click on it, enter your phone number, email, full name, and I will personally reach out to you in the next 24 hours. If you're serious about kicking some ass, going to the new level, recreating, next version of yourself, I'm your guy. Let's kill it. It's very simple, beat the sun up every day. Wake up while everyone else is sleeping and get your ass in, mo in movement. Get your ass in the gym. Don't be a robot. No text messages, no phone calls, no emails. No phone when you're taking care of yourself and you're exercising. No phone. Headphones, music, podcasts, do not disturb. 4% of my day, one hour to an hour and a half all me, working on me, working on my mind, working on my mental health, working on my physical fitness, working on the way that, that I'm working on me. You guys want to give 23 hours to the rest of the world, okay? 
You got to set up that hour for yourself. Guys, can I tell you a secret how to get further ahead and take better care of your families than anybody else? You ready? It's a selfish move. You got to start putting you first again. So number one, it goes me. What does that mean? That means if I don't like me, it's very hard for me to pay very good attention to my family, to be loving to my family, to be loving to my clients, to think big, to dream big, to do more. If I don't like me, that's a problem. Could, I want to ask everybody, could any one of you right now, if you didn't like yourself, have a good day today? Nope. So are you listening to me now? Step one is put yourself first. What does that mean? Number one, your internal self, you need to make a decision that your job is to take care of yourself so that you can take better care of everybody else that you want to take care of. You can't take good care of other people if you don't take care of yourself. Do you understand? And one of the reasons why I've been able to scale so fast and grow so fast is because I don't take care of my family. I take care of me so I can take better care of my family. And people go, that's selfish. No, pour your cup out and don't put any back into yourself. You'll look up in two years burned out, dreams burned to the ground, relationships dull and boring, and your life sucks. Is that what you want? Some of you are running that play right now. The way that I know how serious you are about living your best life is how well you take care of yourself. S cut the shit about you're trying to take care of your family, your clients, and everything else if you can't take care of yourself. See, whether I'll listen to you, believe in you, follow you, take your advice, will directly me looking at you saying, well, how well do you take care of you? See, if I think you can take good care of you, then you probably could take good care of me. Guys, could you imagine somebody going into your company saying that they want to financially help you grow your business, but then you pull their credit and they got bad credit? Okay, so you're to come help me with my finances, but yet you can't handle your own finances? Uh, no thanks. So internally, change your intentions. My intentions go from I want to make more money to I want to help more people. This, this has to be real, it can't be fake. When you walk up to another woman or man or in the gym or in the grocery aisle, do they look at you and be like, I don't know what it is about you, but I feel like I need someone like you in my life. I don't know what it is about you, but I'm watching the way that you operate with your kids and your wife, and man, more people need to live like that. Do they walk up to you and be like, God, Look at the way that you take care of yourself. I wish one day I can look like you. You inspire me to take better care of myself. This stuff has to happen, guys. How many people's lives do you want to change? That's your internal intentions. Okay, secondly, external, okay? Everybody write this down. Be a walking billboard. Listen to me. I am telling you right now, I said be more attractive. You will sell more do more business, have more people buy into your, your dreams, you will be able to lead more people. You will be loved more. I know, I know, I know you're gonna be like, gosh, dang it, Andy, I hate it when you talk this way. When you become more attractive and you take better care of yourself, you know what I know? Ugly people can become attractive when they get in shape. It's the truth. It's the truth. I see it every day. I want to tell you guys, listen to me, in a world right now where everybody is eating shit all day long, literally drinking Cokes and everything else, no water, they, dr they live off energy drinks, they don't wake up and take care of themselves, they go to work sloppy, no standards, don't care, don't dream big, don't think big, lost, robots. It's time for you guys to decide, who the hell do I want to be? You know what I want you guys to be? Every one of you right now, I want you to be the example. The example is two words. The example for human excellence in the way you look, in the way you walk, in the way you talk, in the way you take care of people, in the way that you keep your freaking word. And guess what? Here's the good news. You don't like who you are right now? There's somebody right now that's on this call that you're going to be the comeback kid like I was. Guys, I was in the worst situation of my life. I felt like I just let my family down. I let me down. I didn't like who I was. 
I wasn't physically in good shape. My mindset was a trash can. Dude, honestly, some days I was like, dude, I don't even want to live anymore. I hate this. You know what? I didn't have the right people around me telling me, bro, you got to go fight. You got to freaking get pissed off. You got to change. Dude, do you understand? Hey, everybody write this down. What would your kids think if they found out their mom or dad was a quitter? I just kept thinking, if I fucking quit, what's my son going to think? What's my daughter going to think? What, dude, I wasn't even thinking about my wife at the time. I'm thinking about my kids, my legacy. And I'm like, I'm not a quitter. I don't quit. That point, I decided to get pissed off. By the way, it is okay to get pissed off. It is perfectly okay. Listen to me. If you have a goal, but you don't have any emotion tied to it or anchored to it, you're not going to hit the goal. Do you get it? You say you want something. Well, what happens when you wake up the next morning and you feel like you don't want it? It's got to be anchored to something. What does that mean? Did they tell you that you were going to be a loser, that you weren't going to make it? Did your ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend tell you you're never going to make it without me? You're a freaking piece of shit. You're a loser. Did you go and truly do something that you're ashamed of? And you're like, dude, someone like me that did something like that could never. Hey, you guys know anything about the Bible? There's a guy in the Bible. His name was Saul. He was the Christian killer. The guy killed Christians for fun. And then he became the Apostle Paul. He took the Bible further than anyone else. How can someone leave the old behind and go into the new? You know how? Well, in the Bible, Jesus blinded them. Okay, so what does that mean for me to tell you? You need to see life through a new set of lenses. If I could give you guys anything, it would be the ability to see life the way that I see it. It's never been easier to win. It's never been easier to kick ass. It's never been easier to to get attention when you're changing because everybody's, they're all the same. You guys get it? So that was all I wanted to share with you guys today. No tactical sales tricks today. Just a simple decision to be made. There's two groups of people. There's going to be group one, the world told them who they were and they were afraid to become anything else because they couldn't handle the laughter. So they stayed on that road their whole life. And at the end of their life, they died with regrets. They woke up when it was too late and there was nothing they could do about it. And then there was road two, which is everybody said you weren't going to make it and they said, I'm not willing to accept that. I'm sorry, but that's not correct. And by the way, you're the only one that knows what's inside of you. No one else knows what's inside of you. Jason may be a loser, but he can decide to be a fucking winner starting this moment. And if Jason knows that he's got something in him, but no one else knows it, isn't all that matters is that he knows it? Dude, I'm going to tell you about me. I knew, I knew that I had enough pain, and pain teaches. I knew that I had enough pain that I didn't want to live this way no more, and so I said, F it, I'm changing. And you know what? I did. And the laughter, and the jokes, and the fun, and the doubt, and all of that shit that was all around me, you know what? It was fuel. I needed that fuel. Matter of fact, I probably wouldn't have made it to where I am today if I wouldn't have had all that amazing fuel, all that hate, I want you to understand something. The devil has one goal with all of you. One goal. To keep you average. It's his goal. So, I love you guys. Love all of you. Okay? I want you to make a decision today. To fucking kill mediocrity in your life. Every bit of it. From your physical fitness to the, your internal health, the way you take care of yourself, to the way that you lead your family, your children, your wife, your husband, to the way that you lead your team, to the way that you do your, your business. I'm not asking anybody to quit their job and go do something else. I'm asking you to do what you do differently from now on. Be different. Stand out. And guess what? Be an example. That's it. And if you listen to what I say, If you listen to what I say, everything that I said, the play that I just gave you to run on this call,
I will tell all of you, you will become a walking example of human excellence. You will have a slew of millions of people behind you that you will have changed their life, that are motivated you, that, will, that are motivated with you, that will go to war with you wherever you go. If you don't have the pack of people in your life right now that you want, change and they will show up. They always do. I always find people that are like me, okay? And they find me. You need a new set of people in your life, but you won't get those people until you change. You gotta be willing to go the lonely road. You gotta be willing to freaking separate yourself from everybody else. And you gotta be willing to get a little bit crazy. They don't make statues of the haters and the critics. They make statues of the crazy dreamers and the ones that fucking execute. So we're gonna get off this call. I want you guys to go psycho. I love you guys. I appreciate you. You guys have a blessed day. If anybody needs me, reach out to me. You guys all know how to find me. All right? See you guys. Have a great day. Let's go kill it. Love you guys. Let's get it.